Hi, it's Scotty Rudds, and we're back for the day two of the Punchestown Festival here for the Cheltenham Exchange. My first selection for day two is going to be in the 520, the Irish Mirror Novices Hurdle over three miles. The horse I like in this race is going to be stepping up in trip, finally, in my opinion, for the right race. He ran an absolute belter in the Ballymore. He fell at the last. He was a bit unfortunate. He was beaten at the time, three lengths down when he came down. Journey with me. I really think this horse should have gone for the Albert Butler at the festival, and I think he's going to definitely have his trip here. He opposes some horses who've got some very good form over two and a half and three miles. Manila Kakuna is the one that finished second in the Albert Bartlett at the festival. He's going to be coming back here, following on from his Dublin Racing Festival success. Manila Kruna, the other one, let's not get confused between the two, but he missed the festival to a slight setback, and he is definitely going to play his hand in this race also. You've got the winner, the nice guy from the festival here. This is a cracking grade one, but for me, 13 to 2, the prices this afternoon, the day before the race, Journey With Me is the one to be on. And my second selection and my final selection for the day is in the 555, the bigger one itself, the Punchestown Gold Cup Grade 1. There's a real big animal in here that goes by the name of Alaho. Absolutely brilliant in the Ryanair. In my opinion, he is the best chaser in training. But for me, he's opposable here over the distance. I don't like him at over three miles. I just think going right-handed at Punchestown, we know he's got the form in the John Durkin, but I'm just going to take him on. And I'm going to go with a horse who's won the Irish Gold Cup this year, and that's Galvin. He ran a good race at the Cheltenham Festival, didn't quite have the class to get home to beat some horses in front of him like Manila Indo and Aplutard. Maybe it just turned into a bit of a speed race, but I think some of these horses here, and they, as they go off from the front, I think the track will suit him, and Galvin will be picking up the pieces yet again again when others have cried enough so for me galvin i'm going to stick with him and he's my each way bet at six to one a good each way double for the day journey with me and galvin here are my selections ahead of day two at the punchestown festival my first selection comes in the 340 handicap hurdle and the selection is millen to one he runs back over hurdles here having been quite inconsistent this season since switching to fences he's often had to be pushed along during races over fences, and I think switching back over hurdles, he'll be more of a threat in this company. He was seen over hurdles last time out at Fairy House, but he was always towards the rear and never had any chance of competing, so I'd put a line through that run. He's subsequently been dropped £2, which means he can run in this, given it's a 95 to one two three rated contest. I think he's probably better than that at his very best, and his jockey claims £4 here too, so I'm hoping he can get back to winning ways here, or at least feature at the finish given he will be able to improve on his chase form. My second selection comes in the Punchestown Gold Cup at 5.55. I can't see past the favourite, Alaho. He's looked unbeatable over two and a half miles in recent seasons. He steps back up to three miles here for the first time since 2020, and he hasn't looked overly convincing over the trip in the past, and that would be a slight concern. However, I do believe he's a better horse now, and he'll take all of the beating. Clandis Obo performed well at Aintree, but that was a much tougher race than when he won last year before coming here, and also looks to be more competitive here than the last year's renewal, and I can't see him beating Alaho. I wouldn't be surprised to see Album Photo run well enough to get into the places, but Alaho is definitely the one to beat. My third selection comes at 7.05 in the Handicap Chase. Foxy Jax, I was keen on him for the top of my Aintree, but he fell at the ninth fence, which was unfortunate. As long as that didn't leave too much of a mark on him, I'd be wanting to back him again here. He won this last year for £10 lower mark, but he has the benefit of £7 being taken off his racing weight, and obviously he has the course form. I think this trip suits him perfectly. He has good form over similar distances. I'd be disappointed if he couldn't be there or thereabouts again this year. Best of luck with all your selections. Hi, this is John here from the Cheltenham Exchange with my picks for day two of the Punchestown Festival. My nap is Ciel de Niege in the Handicap Chase at 7.05. He has improved this season for offence and his record stands at three wins from four races. He also has some course form with a good second at this meeting last season, albeit over hurdles. He looks to hold all the aces in this competitive race. My each way shout is Humble Glory in the Handicap Hurdle at 3.40. She was second here in a listed race last December behind Party Central who won here yesterday. That was off level weights, so a repeat of that will put her bang there. Just the two from me today and good luck everybody. Hi, this is Jamie Run here of Tent Mental. 
tough day on day one, I will have to admit. Got out of trouble in the last two winners. Uh, vital something and um, missed my car fortune. But sure, I'm um, sorry. Apologies for the bad selections on day one. So we're here with day two. Uh, my first selection is in the first race at 3.40. I really like the look here of life in the park here each way. I know David Pites bringing over a horse for, uh, for JP McManus. I don't know about him really much about him, so I'll go with the life in the park. What's didn't with the life in the park is that it would come onto my nap in the next race. It was third on its debut around Punchestown to Freedom to Dream. And then in fourth was Hunter's Yarn, has won two big bumpers since in Limerick and Fairy House. So the form is there. I think it comes to the boil at the right time. The better ground, uh, getting used to the job, one easy to last inch or more. So it'll be life in the park in the 340 for me. Onto the four fifteens, my nap of the day, freedom to dream. Fort in the Martin Pipe, I suppose the the form's not really working out in the Martin Pipe yet, but I suppose as I said, that race there as well that he won with life in the park and Hunter's Yarn was fourth in the double racing fest in Nathaniel Lacey to invite six to middle crooner, middle cocooner. You see how they get on later on in the three mile novice. The form is there, crying out for the better ground and his four fifteen. It's a nap for me. Really confident selection in Freedom to Dream. And I suppose in the four, I really like five do there in the next, but I suppose my third selection then would be Aloha in the 555 in the Punchestown Gold Cup. Uh, if you think this horse is good enough to win the King George, a speed track like Punchestown should suit him and make him get home. I suppose looking at it in the race, I suppose the only really danger I think really is Galvin or Candy Zobo. Uh, I think Minnet End have walked home in the Gold Cup and Kimboy f- is finished. Uh, the rest really are not really good enough. Like Tornado Flyer might be better back on a, a sharper track, you never know. But I'm really confident about Elho. We'll see the out the three miles of Punchestown. He hasn't really had a hard season and he's run three times. He's the best horse in training. Uh, he's rated 176. I mean, like, I give him one last chance at three miles. Now, thanks, lads, for day two. And thanks to the gentleman exchange for having me. Good luck to all. Hello everyone, Ian here from the Cheltenham Exchange. Here are my three picks for day two of the Punchestown Festival. My first pick is Manella Crooner in the 520. Manella Crooner missed the Cheltenham Festival due to injury, so he may be just be that fresher than the top two. Um, one at Punchestown in January over three mile, so the trip won't be a problem. The ground will also suit, and at nine to two, I think that's a nice price. My second pick in the 555, is Galvin. Fourth in the Cheltenham Gold Cup. Performance being franked by Aplutard winning the Gold Cup, especially after Galvin beat Aplutard in December. Galvin won snugly in his first run of the season at Punchestown in October. The ground will suit and this could be a great way to end his season. Plus if Galvin wins, does Davy retire? And my last pick in the 705 is Calvary Master. Calvary Masters bet down in trip after two disappointing runs over three miles. Last win was at Killarney in July 21, beating Hewick, who won the Sandown Ground Cup at the weekend. Again, the ground was suit with Ray Choi and Bald and a nice way to 10 stone four. Calvary Marsha has to be a great way to a shout. Thanks all. Good luck. Hello, this is Alex here, here to give you my selections for the Punchestown Festival for the Cheltenham Exchange. In the first race, my selection is Limerick Lace. She was a very good second of 24 to Brandy Love back in December off level weights. Her form has also uh, seen her finish sixth behind Dysart Dynamo, although she was well beaten. She's currently rated 120, which I, which I think personally is an absolute gift. Um, very strong select fancy there for me. In the 520, my selection is the nice guy. He was very impressive when winning the Albert Barlett at Cheltenham on only his second start over hurdles. He has bags of talent. I think he'll take home another grade one. And finally, in the 630, I've, I'm taking uh, American Mike to overturn the form with Fasil Vega. Whilst he was beaten by nearly four lengths by Fasil Vega at Cheltenham, I, I very much fancy him to uh, overturn that result, running on much better ground. Thank you.